Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new camera in the Unify Protect lineup, the AI Turret. The AI Turret is a 4K 8 megapixel camera that has vandal proofing and it also has weatherproofing with a rating of IP66. The AI Turret has smart person, vehicle, license plate, and facial recognition and comes in at a price of $399 USD. It also has an integrated LED spotlight for color night vision and a micro SD card for edge recording, which is a great addition. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the AI turret. And this is our AI turret camera. We could see a bunch of things with this camera. On the outer ring, this is gonna be our LED light, which will be blue when it's adopted into our Unify Protect application. On the very top, we have a speaker, and this camera is a 4K 8 megapixel 30 frames per second with advanced AI. We also have an ultra wide lens. This lens is 109.9 degrees, and it also has a microphone. We have this little LED, which will be for colored night vision, and we do also have IR LED, which is up to 40 meters. To power up this camera, we need to use PoE Plus, and you can see that they have a pigtail on it. So if you're putting this into brick, you're gonna need to have a back box. If you're doing something like drop ceiling, you could just push this up into the ceiling. One really nice thing about this camera is we could put an SD card in so we could record right at the edge. If something happens to our UNVR, well, we could always grab the recording right directly off the SD. It also comes with this mounting bracket. And what's really cool about this mounting bracket is it has a lock on the back. So if you're gonna be putting this up against the wall and you're not drilling a hole, we would take this little slot out. With the camera on the mount, we would grab the cable, we'd put it into the slot, and once it's in the slot, we would push this little locking mechanism. Now this cable is fully locked into the camera, so it's not gonna go anywhere, which is a really nice addition to these cameras. We also get a couple different grommet sizes depending on the cabling that you're using, and we also have these. You're gonna to wanna to put all of this on to prevent water or dust from getting into the ethernet port. Before I go outside and I mount this to my house, I'm gonna put the SD card in, and it does come with a tool to unlock this. All we need to do is put it in, and then we need to unscrew the two screws. What's nice about the SD card cover, it's attached to this piece of plastic, and the cover and the screws we could never lose, which is a nice touch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the SD card into the camera. I'm just using a 128 gigabit card. The SD card is now in, and you could also see this is where we would find the reset button for this camera. I'm going to plug the camera in just so you could see how blue this LED light is. It's pretty nice. I've mounted the AI turret onto the middle of my driveway. Originally, I was going to do it at my front door to capture faces, but I wanted this to capture some license plates while I was driving in of my driveway. You would see the AI turret is adopted into our Unify Protect application right up top. Let's click on it and look at some of the settings. Right away, we can see on the right hand side that we have our status, connection, the model, the device firmware, the last motion, the MAC address, IP address, the frames per second, which this camera does 30 frames per second, and the bit rate. We also have the uptime of the camera. You'd see down below that we have our edge recording. This edge recording is that SD card. It says storage unknown health status. That's because this SD card doesn't support that. We could also see the utilization of the SD card. It's 422 megabytes out of 128 gigabytes. We could also see the storage capacity, the recording mode, which is set to events only, and then the recording resolution. I want this to be on high only. We can change what these are though, if we click on manage for the SD card. Once we click on manage for the SD card, you could see the edge recording. So we could have it going continuous. If we do that though, continuous recording will quickly fill up SD card space and may reduce its lifespan. So I'm just gonna have it on events only cause that's all I care about. And we want it to be on high quality. We could also reformat the storage. We could cancel and then we could save what we've done. If we wanna unmount this from our camera, we could also unmount, it will say unmount the SD card card before removing it to prevent data loss or corruption. After installation of the camera and a couple of events that went by, I took the micro SD card out and you could see that it created a folder called Unify Protect and we could see the date. Clicking on here, it's going to show us that it was happening on December 3rd, which is today, and you can see all of the events that it captured. This isn't a continuous recording. If it was, we would only see one file in here. Now, some other settings that we could look at is under our recording settings, we have our recording options, which is currently on always and continuous for this camera. And then we have our create motion events, 
I have this pretty much all on default. I haven't changed anything. We have create AI events. If you didn't want any of these video detections, you could just uncheck them. But I have animal face, license plate, person, and vehicle. Below that, we have different audio detections because there is a microphone within this camera. So we have baby crying, barking, car alarm, car horn, uh, CO alarm, glass breakage, and then three more. We could also edit the audio types. Right now it is selecting every single one of them. So we have the siren, smoke alarm, and then we have speaking. We'd also have the sound added before AI detections, sound added after AI detections. And then for recording quality, we have our frames per second, which is set to auto, or you could do a customization of that. We have video compression, and then we have our encoding. I'm doing the encoding on standard right now and the resolution at 4K. At the bottom, we have our detection and privacy zone. So we have our motion zones. I don't really mess around with that. It just covers the whole camera, but then we have our smart detection zones. By default, it covers the whole camera lens and it does animal, face, person, and vehicle, which is fine with me. We also have this turn on spotlight when dark. Hovering over the eye icon, it says the spotlight will turn on when detected target entering the zone at nighttime, and this should bring out our colored night vision. Now I wanna have a loitering zone as well, so I'm gonna click on add new zone. This I'm gonna just check off the loitering, and then we're gonna mark off my driveway and maybe a little bit of my front steps. Now for this, I don't really care about the vehicle, so I'm gonna uncheck that off, but I do care for the person. If there's a person on my driveway for over a minute, well, I wanna be alerted about that, and we're gonna press save. Looking at the camera, I'm very happy with this wide angle. You could see the street to the right of me, and then we could see a lot of my neighbor's houses going down the left hand of the road. You'd also see all of my driveway, and looking at this, the picture is really clear. It's going to look a little bit different through YouTube, but this is on 4K and I could actually see boxes of cable in my car and I could read what it says. I did an audio test with this camera as well, just on my driveway saying test one, two, three, four. And you could also see that it picked up my face. So let's click on that and listen to the audio. Voice test one, two, three, voice test one, two, three. Voice test one, two, three, voice test one, two, three. Voice test one, two, three. Voice test one, two, three, voice test one, two, three. Now I must say the audio within this camera is probably one of the best that I have heard in the Ubiquiti lineup. You could clearly hear what I'm saying even when I'm at the back of my driveway and then coming forward, it gets louder. You'd hear a bit of background noise. There is construction happening in my neighborhood. But I also did talk through my phone through the speaker of the camera and it was very loud and clear. So I'm really happy with that. The next test we need to do is wait till it's nightfall and then we need to test out the infrared and the color night vision. So we'll be back once it's dark. All right, so this is with just the night vision on and not the color night vision and it is pretty clear. You can see that it's snowing outside currently and I'm walking up to the camera. We could see my face and you could see that I'm wearing a ubiquity sweater. And if you look on the bottom, it is blurred, but I can actually see my license plate. So the night vision on this is really good. Now, the next thing that we're gonna look at is the colored night vision. You can see that I have my phone on here. I did have the colored night vision turned off, but then I turned it on and you will see the camera change. So now this is the color night vision and you could tell that it looks really good. It's pretty clear, almost like it's during the day. My street is pretty light, so that does help, but you could actually see my face and we don't have any blurring or ghosting with this camera. And that's gonna be it for my video on the AI turret. A couple things that I didn't really show was the license plate reading as only license plate coming into my driveway would be picked up, but it did pick it up with pretty great accuracy. It also did the same with facial recognition and I'm really happy with this camera. If you're looking for a 4K camera that gives us all the AI features, smart detection, vehicle detection, face detection, and license plate reading, I would recommend this for you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.